Hey, howdy, this is an entirely different type of video from everything I've made up to this point. It's not Lisa related at all, and the only reason I'm uploading it to this channel is because this is where I'm most known, so it's hopefully gonna get the most traction. Let me tell you a story. I was just minding my own business one day until something popped up in my homepage. An AI cover. Cool, never liked these things, so I'll just scroll past it. In fact, I'm actually going to look at the original instead and wait, what the fuck? It... It has less views. This was uploaded months ago and gained more views than the original has in 7 years. Ugh. Let's address the elephant in the room. Because, because Ellie is the boss in the stage that has bad apple as its name. Why am I making jokes? AI. It's a pretty nuanced topic that I don't want to get too deep into, not only in this video, but just in my channel in general. I'm just here to make Lisa related videos. Well, until now, that is. Yes, it can be problematic when it steals from people, but it can be beneficial when it genuinely helps without doing any harm. In fact, let me make a confession real quick. Both Lisa Baby and Joy Factory used AI. How you may ask? Well, the first part of Lisa Baby required me to sentence mix the words. If I had tried to do that while the music is still in the background, then the music would also get mixed. Therefore, I used the thing that people actually use to make these AI covers to separate the vocals from the instruments. That way, I can then sentence mix properly, then add the instrumentals, which is already available even without the still later on. The same thing was used in Joy Factory, that being the entirety of Sintonel's vocals. Since I recorded his voice directly from his videos, there's bound to be sound effects from the game as he's talking over it. And since I don't want that, I use the same tool to get them out. Now you might think to yourself, wait a second Alter, Audacity has a tool to isolate vocals, why don't you just use that? And the simple answer to that is, it just never works for me. It sounds ugly every single time I try to use it. There you have it, Alter Reaper has used AI, this is crazy, even though I've actually done it before last year, but that was when it was still funny because how shitty they look, so it's not too bad. Anyway, back on topic. Bad Sandwich, as the title and thumbnail suggests, is a parody of the legendary Bad Apple music video, but with the characters replaced with the 9 classes of TF2. It was released back in 2016 after years and years of hard work from the creator, team EBSXE160, although from the end of the video, it seems like they used to go by Crimson Flare. It was so much hard work that they had to quit their job to make time for finishing it. That is insane, and the video itself couldn't break half a million views after all this time. Which is genuinely surprising because this is arguably the most popular Toho related thing combined with TF2, another very popular media that's commonly intertwined with Toho. Other parodies in a similar fashion like Bonku Miru and Spy Stole the Precious Intelligence have more views than this, which is to be expected, but the sources of these are still less popular than Bad Apple. Then we have the AI cover, which as of me recording this has about 50,000 more views than the original. That may not seem like that big of a gap, but you have to remember the time frame it took for the respective videos to get to where they are. The original has been out for 7 years, the AI cover has been out for 3 months, 7 years is about 84 months. And the views can only go up from here, but with how quick the AI cover got the amount it has, I think that one's going to get views faster than the original. Now I do realize that the AI cover credits the original animation in both the title and the description, that much I can give respect for. So I don't know if they actually asked the creator for permission, but at least they did the bare minimum. And I'm not even necessarily blaming it on the AI cover uploader, as I'm sure they didn't actually expect it to blow up this much. Who am I blaming it on? I don't know, I guess YouTube? Because of how abundant AI covers have been this year, I think YouTube pushes this version to more people compared to the original. And that really sucks. I've never made an AI cover myself, so I don't know how long the process is. But I'm sure it's no longer than a few hours, maybe it's even as quick as minutes. But compare that to the original, which, according to the video description, took 4 years to make. And may I remind you that the creator had to quit their job just so they could focus on the video. That may seem like an extreme measure, but I think that really shows that this video is the creator's baby, their magnum opus. I hope I actually used that term correctly this time. Because even to this day, 7 years later, they continue to reply to comments and update the description, putting the date in which the video gained another 100,000 views, and thanking everyone who watched the video. Can you see yourself in this? To pour all your time and love into one thing, only to see someone else take it and outperforming yourself with little to no effort? And well, that's it really. I'm not happy about this. 
if the creator of the original bad sandwich is watching this, well, hello, for starters. But also, if you're fine with this, then I guess I have no choice but to move on. Because I don't want to make it seem like I care about this more than you do. I enjoy it a lot, but I'm only a viewer. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm submitting this for the GG Jacks Films creator bingo. I can take some feedback, my microphone is shit, my editing is nothing special, and my persona has a failed mug glued to his hand so he can't even cross his arms. Oh, woe is me. But, yeah, go watch the original Bad Sandwich. It's really a masterclass of parody animations. They didn't just take the original Bad Apple and replace the models with the classes and hold it a day. They made multiple references to TF2 befitting of the characters. All with the limitation of the 9 classes, mind you. They didn't shoehorn characters like Miss Pauling and Marasmus to up the character count. It's an amusing video. You should check it out. Now! Also, go watch Joy Factory 2, that's a YTPMV. If the thumbnail and the title didn't give it away, I took the entire month of November working on this and I didn't get help from my brother when making the audio until the last two instruments which I was really proud of. And this was also the most time and energy consuming when it comes to the visuals because I intended to have it replicate someone else's visuals as accurate as possible, which my 8GB RAM PC can't handle to the point where I had to restart my computer multiple times so I could have a smooth rendering. Okay, enough self-promoting. Good night, Gensokyo. May your nights be imperishable and your girls be of legal age. And actually looking like it.